Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I make my vegan pancakes. So if you want to see how I made these, please keep watching. First you're going to need a glass mason jar and Cherry Brook Kitchen's pancake and waffle mix. These plastic bags that cannot open are so annoying. So grab a pair of scissors and cut a hole off the corner. We're going to slowly start to pour some of the mixture into our glass mason jar. You want to pour slowly so that so much mixture doesn't fall out. Then we're going to shake out the mason jar just to see exactly how much we have. I like to use glass mason jars because there are markers on the side of the mason jar to help us know exactly how much we've poured in. If you're using a glass mason jar, we're right at about the one cup line. Next is the wheat germ. We're going to put about two and a half tablespoons of wheat germ into the mixture. You'll notice my tablespoons are pretty generous. Once again, we're going to shake out the mason jar just to see where we're at. The wheat germ should cover about a full layer of the pancake mix. Next is the flaxseed. We're going to do the same thing here, about two to two and a half tablespoons of flaxseed. Once again, I'm pretty generous with the tablespoons. And that's the first layer. Now we're just going to repeat these steps to use up as much mixture as we can. Ugh, try saying that five times fast. Much mixture, Ugh, I'm not even gonna try. Don't worry that all the pancake mixture doesn't fit into the mason jar just yet. Later on in the video, we're going to add in the rest of the pancake mixture. Ta-da! You did it! Now that the entire mason jar is full, we are going to shake this beautiful jar up and get all of that wheat germ and flaxseed mixed in together. Now that everything's mixed up, let's cook. You're gonna need almond milk, our pancake mix, coconut oil, vanilla extract, a mixing bowl, a fork, and a spatula. I'm showing you guys this part in real time because there has been one too many times where I have been pouring out my pancake mix and it just comes pouring out of the mason jar. You wanna slowly shake your mixture out into your mixing bowl. As you can tell, I don't really use a lot of measuring cups in this video, but if you do need to measure it, it does come out to about one cup of pancake mix. Or you can use your mason jar and shake out enough pancake mix to get to the one cup line. Now we're on to the almond milk. Once again, I don't use a measuring cup for this part, but I do pour enough almond milk to cover my pancake mixture. As we continue to stir the pancake mix, we'll add more almond milk as necessary. Once our almond milk is mixed in, we're going to add our vanilla extract. We're adding about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You want to pour slow because this also comes out really fast. So 
I end up pouring almond milk into my pancake mixture two more times. If you do need to measure out your almond milk, if that's easier for you, it comes out to about three quarters of a cup. You'll know your mixture is ready when your pancake mix looks like a really thick soup. As you can tell, my coconut oil has melted, but we're going to pour about 3 tablespoons of coconut oil onto our pan. Then we're going to turn the stove on to a medium heat. Since we just used some of the pancake mix that we made, I'm going to pour the remaining contents of the pancake mix into the mason jar while the coconut oil is heating up. And then I'm going to add my flaxseed and wheat germ. Once our pan is hot enough, I'm going to give our pancake mix one last stir. Then I'm going to pour a decent sized pancake onto the pan and flatten it out with my fork. I'm going to repeat this process so I have two uncooked pancakes on my pan. Normally after putting the pancakes in the pan, I would add in my blueberries because personally I love a good blueberry pancake. But once I started filming, I realized I was out of blueberries. So we'll add bananas onto our pancake later. I'm definitely one of those clean as you go type of people, so while my pancakes are cooking, I'm going to try to just tidy up my kitchen a little bit. After checking to see if my pancakes are ready to flip, I'm going to grab a spatula just to scrape around the bowl so I can pour in my last pancake and make sure I use up all of the pancake mixture. You'll know your pancakes are ready to flip when there's a golden crispy edge on the bottom of your pancake. While the two pancakes cook, I'm going to move them over just a little bit so I can pour in the remaining pancake mixture. With our first two pancakes just about done, I like to add a little bit of butter on top of the pancake. This allows time for the butter to melt into the pancake. After checking our first two pancakes, they're ready to plate. Since I ran out of blueberries, I grabbed a banana and we're going to top our pancakes with a few fresh slices of banana. Our pancakes are ready to 
eat, I'm so excited. I personally love a really big breakfast in the morning and these pancakes do not disappoint. They are so filling and so delicious. Dig in y'all. I personally like to have my pancakes with a fresh cup of orange juice or apple juice or even a nice cold glass of water. I also like to have my melted maple syrup on the side. I'm definitely a dipper. I don't like to pour maple syrup on my pancakes. But however you guys like to enjoy them, enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you'll have an awesome day. Bye guys.